If you're like me, then you're sick and tired of not having enough light in your P1S. So come along today and we are going to install the Pandalux LED upgrade kit from Bichu. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do a few upgrades to my P1S here. Now the good folks at uh, Bichu uh, sent me a bunch of products and uh, some of these are labeled Bichu or BQ, however it's pronounced. I'm sorry, I don't speak Chinese. Um, some of them are Big Tree Tech, so I think same company. Um, but the one that we're going to focus on, we're not going to do these two today, but uh, the one that we're going to focus on uh, for this video is the Panda Lux LED upgrade kit. So as you can see right here, I've got my P1S and currently the uh, built-in light is on and you can see how dim it is. Uh, so that's why this is a, uh, upgrading the lights in this printer is a fairly popular upgrade and they have created, this is for the uh, X1 or P1 series and they've created this kit. So um, this is, the official unboxing for me. I haven't taken it out of the tube yet. But here we have, let's see if that's, I think that's everything in the tube. We have the LED light strip itself. Now this is, let's see, they've got this little bag taped to the back. So this is, a, it looks like probably extruded aluminum. We've got some magnets here in the back so it, it uh, magnetically affixes to the uh, internal structure then we've got the little uh, power cable for it and then in here in this little bag I've already watched the uh, installation video so that I know what I'm hopefully going to be doing but we're going to do that together we've got a few little items and we've got some double-sided uh, 3m tape so they tell you you don't have to use the tape, but if you want, um, you know, additional stickiness, then you can use the double-sided tape. They give you some uh, replacement. It's, not, it's kind of a fabric tape. Um, you'll see where we use that. And then we have this tiny little circuit board um, with some double-sided tape on the back, and it's kind of an adapter board. So we'll plug uh, the adapter board into the a little circuit board on the inside of the printer where the original light goes in and then um, so basically this is going to go to the circuit board and then that's light will plug in here now they tell you even though there's some extra ports on here they tell you do not connect both this light bar and the original light bar in there uh, because you run the risk of drawing more than i believe it's 0.3 amps that that board is designed to supply and a lot of people have caused damage to that board because they figure they'll put a bunch of LED lights in there and um, you get it nice and bright, but uh, they're drawing too much current from that board and it causes problems. So now that we've got this uh, unpackaged, let's, wait a minute. Oh, that's probably just the other end of the foam. So now that we have this unpackaged, let's jump into the machine and get it installed. Now, before we put the new light bar in, I wanted to get an idea or kind of before and after so that you can see. Um, if you own a P1S, you probably know how dim it is. Uh, right now, the door is closed and the glass lid is on. Um, I still do have my studio lights on. And normally, I have an AMS riser on top of my printer and the AMS. So there's no light that actually comes in from above. So this is probably even a little bit brighter than normally uh, you'd see in here. And if we go ahead and open the door, obviously, it's going to get a little bit brighter. But still, um, it's fairly dim in there. So wanted to have that before and after view. So the first step that we're going to do is to remove this protective uh, tape here. You can go from really either side. Now I have my Panda Touch uh, installed. So that's taking up the USB port. So we're just going to remove this tape. You got to be careful because the original display ribbon cable is installed uh, behind this tape. So you don't want to be too aggressive in removing this. And then it feels like I'm also kind of pulling up that plastic. There's some plastic spacer that's behind this as well this is attached to so oh, it's kind of a foam foam spacer so there we go 
Let's take that off. So now we have our AP board uh, exposed. And this here is just the foam that kind of covers that and holds it all in place. So we'll put that aside and reinstall that at the end. Now the next step is to remove the original light connector. So that just very easily pulls out. And we're just going to kind of tuck that back to the side. So we're not going to use that anymore. Now the next step in the installation is going to be to install the light bar. So you can see it is angled so that it will kind of give a, uh, uh, the light projection direction is going to be uh, down at this angle here to light up the build plate. And it's going to install in this general direction so that the power cord is on the my right hand side here, right next to where it needs to plug in. Now the magnets do hold it in in place uh, fairly decently, but um, the last thing I'd ever want is for this thing to fall. I mean, these printers move quite a bit, so I'm going to go ahead and use the double-sided tape to give this a nice, firm uh, installation. All right, I've installed the four little pads of uh, double-sided tape that uh, come with the kit, so we're now going to remove um, the little top pieces. Here, if I can get those off, and then we'll go ahead and stick it on. All right, we removed the little top protective covers of the 3M adhesive pads, and we are now got the light bar installed. It is right down here under the bottom lip of this metal frame. So that part is done. Now we will connect We've got this little circuit board here in my hand, and then we have the little pigtail adapter, and it looks like the ends are slightly different. So we just have to figure out which one goes where. It looks, uh, let's start with the light. I think we are gonna light will go there and this guy will go right there so that's what that looks like sorry I'm not closer to the middle of the screen hopefully that's in focus and then this guy is gonna go right here Get that turned correctly. There we go. That pops right in there. And now we just need to mount this and we should be good. At this point, before we reinstall or install the little uh, power cable adapter board and stick it into place, I'd recommend testing the light just to make sure that everything's working. So I've got my light control on my Panda Touch here, and there you go. You can see that the uh, light is coming on. So now we can it, we can uh, mount this little board, and then we can put everything back together. So the little power board here has got double-sided tape on it as well. So I'm just gonna peel off the protective cover there. And let's see. Just find, there we go. Find a nice little spot back here to adhere that, and we can tuck our wires away. And now we will install this back in place. So I found it a little bit easier to remove this piece of tape first. That way I could see all the holes that needed to line up back there. And then now we can reinstall this tape here. And it looks like that's the only part we're going to need. I don't need the other piece of tape that uh, BQ included. They do give you this uh, little strip here if you wanted to replace that. But this is still sticky enough that it's going to fit in there and work just fine. 
and I will, there we go. We still have our light working. So now we can spin it around and see the after. All right, we have everything installed. Here we are, we're looking back at the front of the printer. Now, right now I have the light off, but if we go ahead and turn it on, boom, there you go. Now we've got the uh, Panda Lux LED upgrade kit fully installed, and you can see much better lighting there on the build plate. Normally I can't really see all the way to the back because um, the uh, original light is there off to the side, and so, this just gives a much better overall illumination. I can really see what's going on in the printer. And one of the nice things is, whereas, you know, I have this thing in my room, so a lot of times if it's printing at night and I forget to turn off the light, it's a little bit distracting because it's it kind of shines through the front of the glass. But the way that they've designed this, now we have our um, our light is projecting backwards, so it doesn't it doesn't shine out of the machine at all. The only thing you're getting that's coming out of the front glass is you know just reflected light, so it's a lot more pleasant. All right, everybody. So there you have it. That is the Panda Lux LED upgrade kit installed and working. So hopefully you enjoyed the uh, installation and the final result. If you didn't like my uh, version there, they do include a little QR code. It'll take you to the Big Tree uh, Tech Wiki website where they have installation instructions as well as a YouTube video. Um, this isn't your traditional review, but uh, overall, I would definitely recommend this. I would probably give this a 5 out of 5 um, due to what it does for the printer and the overall value. Um, this is only $9.99. That's crazy. Uh, considering that you're getting not only the LEDs, all the connectors, all the cables that you need, um, all the accessories like the the uh, 3M tape and the replacement um, tape as well. But uh, it's also in an, an aluminum enclosure with the magnets. I mean, just the parts list alone, um, you'd be hard pressed to put this together for that kind of price. They do offer free shipping um, if you're at $49 or above, but uh, the shipping is very reasonable if you're below that. Uh, I just checked on the web, and to get this part shipped to my door, it would only cost me $14.99. So, again, an incredible value, a great product. Thank you very much uh, to uh, Beat You for sending this over to me, and I want to uh, thank all of you for sticking around and watching another video on my channel. As always, I hope that you've enjoyed this, and please take a moment to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Let me down know down in the comments um, what other upgrades that you would like to uh, see uh, on the channel, or if there's something that you've done to your printer that you found incredibly valuable, uh, let me know so that I can check that out in the future. As always, I appreciate you taking your time spending here with me. We're already at over 1,600 viewers. That's something uh, to be very happy about. And uh, as always, I just hope that we can continue to learn, burn, grow, and print together. Take care, everyone.